at seven o'clock, we got South Alabama who's one and one. Traveling Oklahoma State who's two and zero. Oh. Oklahoma State favored by seven points on ESPN Plus. Carter Bradley for South Alabama. He's got forty two of fifty six thrown for four hundred forty eight yards, two touchdowns, two three interceptions. Not a great statistic there. Ladamian Webb has had 16 carries for 121 yards and two touchdowns. And Colin Lacey has had 15 catches for 199 yards and a touchdown. Alan Bowman for the Cowboys has gone 24 of 40, thrown for 193 yards. No touchdowns yet. Ollie Gordon the second has had 16 catches for 16 carries for 97 yards and two touchdowns. And Thazon Stripling has had 11 catches for 138 yards and a touchdown. Oklahoma State leads the series all time 2 0. They played in 2017 and 2018. The closest game between these two teams was 37 points. But South Alabama has been a really bad football team until very recently, right? That 10-win season was a breakout season for them. Was it a one-off, or will they continue to be good? Is, I think going to be a big question moving forward. Oklahoma State's 2-0, but it, it honestly might be the least impressive 2-0 I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Um, Oklahoma State played a close game against Central Arkansas eked by and then was losing to Arizona State for the majority of that night. Arizona State is arguably the worst uh, Power 5 football team in the entire nation. That's how bad Oklahoma State has been through its first two games. And it's, again, I think the most pathetic 2-0 I've seen in a long time. South Alabama's 1-1. One one. To be fair, they lost their one game to a Tulane team with Michael Pratt. A lot of people are going to be like, well, they just lost to Ole Miss. They lost to Ole Miss without Michael Pratt and led the majority of that game. Tulane looked like the better football team without their star quarterback for the majority of that game. And unfortunately for Tulane, because it's playoffs are the way they are, they likely lost out on the playoffs thanks to that game. If you win that game, chance at the playoffs, legitimately. Um, but you likely are out after that loss. It's unfortunate for a Tulane fan. But it, it just kind of is how it works now. Kind of sucks, but it's true. Um, South Alabama looked good last week. But again, that was against way inferior competition to what they're going to be playing against Oklahoma State. This is against two teams that I'm not super excited about. I, I can think that both these teams can get better, right? Oklahoma State will get better as the year goes on. South Alabama, I'm interested to see if the 10-win season was a one-off. I don't think it was. South Alabama went to UCLA last year, almost beat them. And it was a heartbreaking loss for them, a game they could have had. I think Oklahoma State is the game they do have. Give me South Alabama to go to Bedlam and pull off the upset against the Cowboys.